on my way to the hardware store, going to get a uh, couple dozen worms, hit the river, do some fishing. I uh, wanted to get out and do a day trip before Hurricane Isaac, uh, just now declared a hurricane last night, uh, hits shore and dumps a bunch of rain on us. So and with the river system around here and the sand and as much as rain we've had already this year, we're going to flood bad if we do get to our kids. So got a pack from a fellow bushcraft member. I wanted to do a uh, quick pack review on it. I had it for a couple of weeks. I wanted to run it through a few paces for a few different uses before I uh, made an honest assessment of it. So, well, I was going to go fishing here, but oh. I always miss that turn. And it looks like there's somebody on here as well. Oh well. It's about four feet above normal. Take it slow. I'm using my walking stick <laughs> to was using my walking stick to find my way across the the holes, but the only thing I can't get wet in my pack is my phone, so I'm okay so far. That wasn't so bad. Almost lost it once. Well, found a piece. Gonna knock off the uh, outer cortex and I should have a very nice uh, piece of flint under there. I got my Maxpedition Lunata backpack. I don't know if you can see that. But it's a, uh, it's a pretty good pack. I got a uh, Maxpedition water bottle holder on it and a condor phone pouch and I believe it's a condor it's like a five by seven by four pouch I got those at the uh, airsoft websites where you can buy tactical gear without getting really expensive or really heavy duty that's nice and straight Timber. Right, what I got there is a hand drill. The start of one anyway. Should be able to get three nice links out of it. Is a big spider from leg tip to leg tip it's about three inches wild grapes anyone I'm gonna pick these disclaimer do not pick anything you don't know yeah see so you want to cut them at the stem that way you don't mush them you also want to watch out for snakes too snakes are smart they know birds and rodents are gonna come and eat the grapes so, guess what? Where would you be for dinner? Mmm, them are so sweet. Almost done, I just gotta get a few more. 
late August, the berries are nice and ripe. September, they start to go a little iffy, so it's better to pick them now while you can before the birds get them. It's a fairly decent harvest off of one or two vines. Before I unpacked, I wanted to show you what I brought, and uh, keep in mind, everything I brought out here today is in the pack, with the exception of my hiking stick, my fishing pole. Here's the three sticks I found for uh, hand drill. Gonna let those dry out in the garage. This is the Condor phone pouch. I got my keys in there and a spare battery for the camera. All right. In the bigger compartment, I used to be able to fit my droid cell phone in there. Now that I've upgraded, it won't fit, so I'm on the search for another one. If you got one, send me a link. My cook pot, my AKA Imusa 10 centimeter mini zombie pot. Okay. Outside compartment, there's like a mini sleeve right here. I keep my bandana in there. I've also put my Mora inside here at times. The kitchen, as I call it, I have four of these. I got Tabasco, uh, maple syrup, some olive oil, and soy sauce. So it's there when I need it. Those are my four biggest condiments. All right, my dehydrated food, I've been bringing out single servings now. I just bring out enough just for one meal. Add that to my boiling water and it hydrates right up. All right, Lupton Soup Secrets. These are good. This happens to be the chicken noodle soup. Love it. Okay, and that's the kitchen. All right, in here, baby wipes. Main compartment, bug dope. Trees, about 20 feet of paracord. My mora, fishing tackle, A liter of water. My tarp. And in the back, hopefully you can see this, for kitchen prep, the cutting board. I also have a flap here that has a waterproof bag in it, as well as a spare cutting board if I ever need to do fish or chicken on one and vegetables on the other. If I catch anything today, that is. Okay, the side compartment. I did have my cook set in there, my Optimus Crux cook set wallet. Worms. I sacrificed bringing the cook set because I can build a fire. Not a big deal. And I brought my worms and I have a mini Bic. All right, so that stays in there. Oh, and if I want to set my utensil down, this is the top off of a uh, percolator coffee pot. You uh, put this on top of your grounds and then the water goes through here. I find it a nice stainless accessory for my Optimus Crux, but I also bring it so I can set my spoon or fork down and, and not have it in the dirt. The 10 by 4 pouch, here's a chunk of that flint that I found earlier. Another liter of water. My Oli Camp cup, that's what I put my coffee in. And then in the side, I have a fire steel, some uh, Ocean Spray Cran Cherry Limeade. I got another lighter in there with some jute twine wrapped around it. Underneath that, I have my fire kit that I made here a couple weeks ago. A fisherman's friend tin with a uh, ranger band around it. And in here, I have a match holder with some cotton balls in it and some matches on the inside. I'm pretty heavy on the match side or the fire capability side, but that's okay. Yeah, this pocket here, cell phone. Has a nice little sleeve just for the cell phone. I may keep it in there, don't know. Silverware and a Swiss Army knife for food prep. Now, when I use this kit for school, yes, I'm in school, I'll put bottle water in here. I might have some pens and pencils in there, and I got my notebooks in here. And this pretty much stays empty. But uh, if I wanted to bring a lunch to class, the uh, the instructor lets us. So that's that's not a big deal there. But overall, it's a really great pack for, for just a short day trip. There's some stuff I'd like to put in there, but I'll do without. I can, I can sacrifice it. Not a big deal. And it would appear that the contents of my fire kit are wet.
Look at your big brother. Here is some berries I'd like to identify. There's tons of them. There she is. Thought I forgot about these, didn't you? 